Hello everyone, thank you for joining our presentation. My name is Edna Tepesano and today I am joined by Paulina Torres, Brittany Vaca, Lester Ibarra, Raimundo Aragones, Jeremiah Davis Bell, and Diego Maldonado. We are all undergraduate students and first semester general chemistry peer leaders from the University of Texas at El Paso, also known as UTEP. Also with us today is Carolina Melendez. She is a recent UTEP alumna and former first semester general chemistry peer leader. Today we will be talking about quality control in online peer led workshops. But before we dive deeper into this topic, we first have to understand what a workshop is and what the role of a peer leader is in a workshop. The general chemistry program at the University of Texas at El Paso has incorporated a peer-led team learning program for the past 20 years. Students enrolled in a large section lecture are also co-enrolled in a small learning community called Workshop, which is overseen by an undergraduate peer leader who is a student that previously took the class and mastered the content and completed a pre-semester peer leading training. The peer leader helps the students learn the material, not by teaching or lecturing, but by creating group activities based on what is being taught in lecture by the professor and having the students interact with each other. Every peer leader has their own style of conducting a workshop and comes up with creative activities to engage with their students, but may have problems with their students understanding a certain topic, which is why they are evaluated on a bi-weekly basis. To ensure all general chemistry students receive a high quality workshop, the PLTL Council, a small group of experienced peer leaders, oversees how every peer leader conducts their workshop. The council member attends and observes the peer leader's workshop session every other week. Based on several criteria, the evaluator provides positive and constructive feedback to the peer leader about how they carry themselves in front of the students how the material is delivered to the students, and how the students are engaged. The workshop evaluations allow us to track a peer leader's personal and professional growth and improvement throughout the semester, which are factors taken into consideration for future rehiring purposes. Most importantly, however, workshop evaluations equip peer leaders with the necessary knowledge and skills to create an amiable environment where active learning and student participation are encouraged, whether this occurs in a traditional classroom setting or online. Last spring, when the entire university had to transition to online learning, not only was it difficult for students, but it was difficult for peer leaders to make this new environment as engaging as it had been previously. In order to ensure that each student enrolled in first semester general chemistry was receiving a quality workshop experience on this new platform, evaluations were more important than ever. Many of the new peer leaders that joined the program after experiencing a half in-person and half online semester needed guidance as to what the critical components of a workshop are. Training the newer generations of peer leaders also became more difficult as more and more of them had never experienced an in-person workshop at all. It continues to be a challenge to preserve that engagement and connection with students that once came fairly easily when in person. For this reason, it is imperative that peer leaders, new and experienced alike, have a more experienced peer leader to contribute another perspective on how their workshop is going. It is important that peer leaders continue to push themselves to improve not only each semester, but each week. The week prior to performing evaluations, the PLTL Council meets to discuss who will be assessed and how to arrange the evaluation schedule. To conduct the evaluation itself, the assigned council member enters the evaluated peer leaders workshop, preferably 30 minutes after it has begun. This allows the peer leader enough time to establish their optimal learning environment, which grants the evaluator a more accurate representation of their performance. The evaluator then quietly observes the workshop and takes notes regarding the peer leader's strengths and weaknesses, along with their course structure. After an hour has passed and enough information has been gathered, 
The evaluator exits the workshop and organizes their notes in an articulate manner that fits the program's evaluation template. Once finalized, the evaluation document is emailed to the peer leader to allow them to reflect on the execution of their workshop. When providing evaluations to the peer leaders, we look at specific fields to provide feedback on. Those fields are knowledge of the topic at hand, preparation, workshop management, and areas of improvement. Knowledge of the topic is pretty straightforward. You just need to know what you're talking about. Preparation is crucial for the peer leaders to not interrupt the flow of communication between the student and the material. Workshop management may take the cake for importance as it just shows how a peer leader works with students. It's not about giving them the answer, creating a military environment per se. It's about understanding your students and being able to tailor it to their learning. At last but not least is areas of improvement. No matter what you experience or your level of knowledge, everyone can improve. While there may be large or insignificant changes, it is important for us as evaluators to understand that we are not perfect. Being able to observe areas of improvement help the players being evaluated as much as they help us. Being a workshop evaluator and having experience being evaluated for each of two semesters, I have understood the benefits that come with being evaluated throughout the semester. After peer leaders review the feedback they receive, they are able to reflect on any issues, improvements, or commendable moments that occurred during the workshop. Through these evaluations, peer leaders are able to improve the way they handle their workshops and are able to find the best way to facilitate the learning of their students. For instance, if a peer leader decides to use a particular activity during their workshop, but there were a few flaws that they originally didn't catch, an evaluator will most likely notice them and let the peer leader be aware of them. This way, the peer leader conducting the workshop can revise any activity or review tactic that is not fully efficient. Through the workshop evaluations that are conducted, peer leaders can also find out whether their knowledge on the material was reviewed is strong or needs improvement. Overall, through evaluations, peer leaders can better themselves and better the workshop, workshops they conduct on a weekly basis. As the evaluator, we get the chance to see how each individual peer leader runs their workshops. With PowerPoint being a popular presentation tool, it is common to see it used in classes, but we get the chance to see how the peer leaders are creative with their workshop and how they decide to lay out what they have planned for their workshop, and they give us ideas for what to look at. Some come up with personalized games and activities and others have a group conversation where everyone talks and writes to talk about discussed topics. It is helpful for expanding our viewpoints to see the possibilities for online workshops compared to common lecturing. In contrast, we can also see where some peer leaders run into difficulties. When a peer leader isn't sure how they can help their students understand material better or how to encourage engagement, the extra pair of eyes helps to give them input on what they can change to increase their engagement of their students. Evaluations are vital in the development of effective and reliable peer leaders. When I began as a peer leader in fall 2019, I was anxious. Uh, I, didn't, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing and how I should perform. I had never experienced leading a workshop and I had very little experience helping others learn. Receiving a constructive evaluation provided me with the feedback to make my workshop an active learning environment. As a result, I called on more students rather than ask for volunteers. I started implementing more group activities and I began lecturing less. When I became an evaluator, it gave me the opportunity to share the knowledge and experiences I had collected over a year. I'm now able to help and provide constructive feedback to peer leaders I give them praise on the things they do right and suggest ideas to avoid making the workshop feel more like a lecture. We would like to thank you once more for coming to our presentation today. And we hope that the information that we shared about workshop evaluations was helpful to you as well.